Tav Kuf Tes Amud Beis, the Mishnah near the top of the Amud. It's like the Mishnah, Ein Oichlem Izovim B'Shabbos, Lefish Ein Omeichel Briam. A person is also to eat on Shabbos Izovim. The Gemara will define what this means, we'll see shortly, because it is not a Omeichel Briam. Healthy people don't eat it. We know that there is a Xera, a person on Shabbos is not allowed to take refua medicines, it's Xera, the, the Rabbonon, because he might come to grind up the herbs, Shrika Samamonim, he might make the medicine on Shabbos, and grinding up the herbs is a Moloch de Raisa, but come to be taken that. So therefore, they were geyser on medicines. Now, what about foods, eating food, which have medicinal benefits? So the general principle is, is that if it's a food that people would eat, even if they're not sick, sick, it's a Michael Broin, healthy people eat it, then it's not muchach, it's not nikr, that it's for refua, then it's mutter. But if it is something that only sick people would eat, therefore it would be also. Now there is a difference of opinion in the Mephorshim how to learn this Mishnah and what the heterim are. We're going to go with the approach of Rashi here and also the Bartanura. So therefore, the Mishnah says you can't eat a Zavyam B'Shabbos because it's not a Michael Bruin. But he could eat Yoezer and drink Abra. And again, we'll see in the Gemara, Gemara we'll define, we'll see what that means. Because these things are Michael Bruin. And therefore, even a sick person can eat them even though it has medicinal benefits and he is sick, he can eat them because it's not nikar that it's doing it for refua because healthy people eat it as well. A person can eat any foods for refua, even for its refua, as long as it's a ma'achabrim, and drink any drinks. Chutzman made the column except things which are nicker that is for a food that healthy people would not eat or drink this. Chutzman made the kolim, the water of palm trees, the kois ikrin, and a drink that's made out of roots that has a side effect that it causes a person to be an akar. Because it is clear that the kois ikrin is for jaundice, the made the kolim, has other medicinal benefits to see in the Gemara. Because these are nikar <coughs> that they're for refu. Healthy people would not drink this. Avol Shaisu made the kolim litzmo, but he could drink the water of palm trees if he's thirsty. If he's thirsty and he's drinking it not for refu, so he's drinking it to quench his thirst, then if he is not sick and he's drinking it for his thirst, even though it's not a Michael Broim, he can, del- uh, he can still drink it. And he can anoint on himself the uh, oil of these roots if it's not for the purpose of healing, if it's not for the purpose of... So according to the way we've explained the Mishnah, the principles are as follows. If something is muhach, that it's a refuah, um, then a sick person cannot take it. A healthy person can take it if it's not for the purpose of refuah. If he's not sick and he wants to drink it for his thirst, even though it's unusual and normally healthy people don't do it, it's mutter. But a sick person cannot do it. If it's something that is healthy people, it's a Michael broom, healthy people would eat or drink this. But it also has medicinal benefits. So therefore, it's not muhach that it's for refuah, then even a sick person can take it for the medicinal benefits because it's not muhach that it's a refuah. So that is the explanation of the Mishnah according to Rashi over here and the Bartendor. Now the Gemara will define the items that are mentioned in the Mishnah and also we will go through in the next couple of uh, Dapim the different refuahs, different items that and foods and different items that have medicinal benefits. Um, Rav Yasef, Ezov, Abarat He said, what is this Ezov? The Torah says an Ezov. An Ezov is the Ahisop, Ahisop of Hamag. Ezovian, now our Mishnah mentions not Ezov, 
I mentioned a zavyan. What is that? A zavyan is part of a hinik. It's a hisab of a hink. So there are different types of hisik. The one that Terra mentions is one kind, and the one the Mishnah mentions is a different one. Ula Omar, he says, Marva Chibra. It's white sage. Ula Iklabe Rav Shambar Yehuda Marva Chibra. They brought this white sage in front of him. Omar, he said, Hainways, Dukhsiva Raisa. This is the Ezaiv that the Torah mentions. <coughs> Rapapa Amar, Shumshuk, he says it is Shumshuk. That's what it is referred to. It's called Shumshuk. So, Amar of Yirmi Yadifi Kavosi Rapapi Mistaber. He says it's more Mistaber like Rapapi. This Nan, we learned in the Mishnah, Mrs. Ezaiv Shlesha Kalachim. The mitzvah, the ezayv, the Torah says that there's a mitzvah to bring with the parah, duma, you have to bring an ezayv. That's an ezayv hashloisha kaloch. It has three stems. Ubehen shloisha givoylam. And each one has three givoylam, three capsules. Vishumshuk hu de mishtacha hachi. And that's the description of the shumshuk, has that description. So therefore, it's mustabra like rope puppy. What do the people eat this for? Why is it eaten? Why, why do they eat this for? He said it's eaten in the Kukani for tapeworms, intestinal worms. But my Akhla, what is it eaten with? With Shiva Tamru Kamasa with seven black dates. In my Habe, what does this come from, these tapeworms? Sorry, It comes from barley flour, the Khalifala Arbin Yaim which is 40 days old. So then the worms start to form and develop into flower. Avaloch is Yoezer. What is Yoezer? My Yoezer is Puntek, is Penny Royal. My Ochla, Larkasa, for worms in the liver. But my Ochla, Beshiva Tamra, Chivrasa, for seven white, uh, with seven white dates. But my, me, my Have, what does this come from? Me Umso, my Aliba, Rekona. It comes from raw meat and drinking water on an empty stomach. And from fatty meat on an empty stomach. And from eating the meat of a shore on an empty stomach. And from nuts on an empty stomach. And the stems of fenugreek on an empty stomach. And then if he drinks water after that, then that's where he has these, these ailments. The loy, now if he doesn't have these ingredients, or if these ingredients don't work, the loy, live la tichla chivra, chivrasa. If not, he should swallow white cress. The loy, lesa betanisa, should fast, lesa biza shamni, should bring fatty meat, velishte agurma, and burn it on coals, the limits, garma, and then suck out the juice from the meat, the ligma chala, and then sip with vinegar. Vigadam rechala loy, and some say you should not you drink vinegar. Mishum de kashal the kavda is harmful for the liver. Viloim, and if he doesn't have those ingredients, he should take these or other ingredients. Lysa guda da sinta, he should bring the bark of a bush, the the grida miloy letato that is peeled from the top down to the bottom. Viloim mitetol eloy, not from the bottom up. Because when he takes these ingredients, the worms will exit his body. He doesn't want it to exit from the mouth. He wants it to exit from the rectum. So therefore, that's how he peels it. He should boil it in with beer and banish mashes. And the next day, he should close his nostrils. And he should drink it. When he, he relieves himself, he should go to the bathroom on a bush that has, or a tree, uh, a tree that the bark has been peeled. And the Mishnah says it's also mutter to drink the Zabba Bro. It's a uh, the uh, the uh, a, a branch, a tree rather, that does not have branches. It's a chutra uh, a stick that's by itself, meaning a stem that doesn't have branches. And presumably, he would then soak it in a liquid and then, or boil it in a liquid and then drink this liquid. What is this made for? 
for healing somebody that has uh, drank water that was left overnight and uh, the uh, snake entered it and put in and uh, poisoned it and he drank that so for the poison of the snake and if he doesn't have those ingredients, he should bring five roses, five cups of beer, and then he should boil it together, until it now is all boiled, and it now is condensed, it evaporates, and now it comes down to the size of an ampaka. It's that small, so it's that concentrated to an ampaka quarter of a lug, and then and the nishten, he should drink it. She made one rose, one cup of beer, and she boiled it and he drank it. And Vishagra Tanura, she lit the oven, Vigarfe, she shoveled it out, cleaned it out, she put a brick inside the oven, Vinafak, and put the brick on them to sit on. Vinafak, a green stream uh, exited his body that had the poison of the snake. Ravav Yamar, we also the Chalvam is a Chivasa. He should take a quarter of Ravias, a quarter lug from uh, of milk from a white goat. Ravuna Bar Yuda Amar Lise Esrega Chalise should bring a sweet sweet Esreg, Vilachaika, and carve out a hole in the middle. Carve it out. Vilamala Dusha, fill it with honey. Vilaisa be Melala, be Vilaisa be Melala de Nura, and put it among burning coals. And then he should eat it. The may regalim that is forty days old. Barzina lezibura, he should drink a barzina of it for a bite of a wasp. Ravia la akraba, a ravia is for a scorpion sting, and palga ravia legiluya and half of that of a log for a, a water that it's been un- left uncovered and it has the it has the poison of the snake. And Ravia Philok Shafimal. And a log is even a log of that Mayraglaim is even beneficial as an antidote or as a remedy against uh Kshafim. Amar of Yaikhan and Nigran Nigran which is you boiled uh, beets in it. Uh, are boiled in it, so that's type of the, the water, the juice that has beets boiled in it, Amvangar and water that um, Amvangar has been boiled in it, which is a type of herb. The Sigasiraika and balsam, Amalo, Ben Leglui, Ben Lekshofim, that's beneficial for either water that's been left uncovered and has the poison of the snake, or for Kshofim. Hi, Mandabalich, if a person swallowed a snake, Luchle Kishusa Bimilcha, he should eat hops with salt. Valir to Trasamilla, and he should run for three milim, and then it will uh, exit his body. Ravsimi Barashi Hazilahu Gara, he saw a person, the Bal of Hibya, that he swallowed a snake. In like a parasha, so Ravsimi Barashi appeared to this person as a person riding on a horse. Ochle Kishusa Bimilcha, he gave him to eat the hops with salt. Vaarte kamek lost a mili, and he made him run in front of him three milim. Vinafki mene gube gube, and the snake exited his body in pieces. Ikdamra rishim barashi balachiva. Another version of the mice is that he himself swallowed the snake. Also Eliyahu with Malachi Frosh. Eliyahu came to him and appeared as a person riding on a horse. Ach lekeshus of a milchi, he gave him to eat the hops with salt. Vaarte kamek lost a mili, made him run in front of him three milim. Vinafki mene gube gube. And it exited his body in pieces. Hi, Mandatarki Chivrev, a person who was bitten by a snake. Lose Uber the Chamra Chivrasa, he should take the Uber, the embryo of a white donkey, the car and tear it open, and put it on the bite. Bani Mile Doishtak Trefa. That's only, it's a remedy only if the uh, animal was a donkey, wasn't a Trefa. If the donkey was a Trefa, it doesn't help. Ahu, there was a mice of Ahu, Beikasha, the Tumbodisa, a certain officer in Tumbodisa, as he was appointed by the government, and it happened to be he was a Yid, as we'll see. The Tarki Chivre, he was bitten by a snake, of a place of Hamar Chivis of Tumbodisa. So we just said over here that this remedy is only if the donkey is not a traitor. There were 13 white donkeys in Tumbodisa, Karina Kula, and they ripped op- open all of them. 
and we start to trade for them, they're all found to be trade for, so he didn't have a remedy, there was no aids for him. Havachada, Bahaugis, the Pumadisa, there was one, one left, that was on the other side of Pumadisa, Ada Asle, Maisla, and by the time they went to get it, Achla, Ari, a lion ate it. So we have all these unusual circumstances that he was unable to have a refua, and all of them were trafe, and even this one was an unusual circumstance, was eaten by a lion. So what's shot over here? Why this? What happened? What What's this unusual occurrence? Omerlo Abaye, Abaye said, Dilmachiv, the Rabbanon Tarki. Maybe he was bitten by the snake of the Rabbanon. The Leslie Susa, which there's no cure for that. Maybe maybe this unusual situation that they couldn't get a cure for this person. All the the, uh, the donkeys were atrophies, and even the one was eaten by the lion, such an unusual situation, such an unusual event. Maybe it's because he violated the Rabbonan and he was he violated their covet, the covet of the Rabbonan and the decrees of the Rabbonan. And for that their person is over that, there's no cure. A person who breaks open a fence, the Rabbana made a fence, they made a takana, and if a person doesn't keep it and he breaks it, then he'll be bitten by the snake. He'll be bitten by the snake and and uh, he'll be poisoned. So I'm uh, i in a rabbi. Yes, he says this is true. The chinach now she the rav. When Rav was nifter, nifter goes the Rav Yitzchak bar Bisna, the le, the leka, the limte asa ve git me lebe halula betabla, that no one should bring in the hadasim and palm branches to a chasana with bells, that they should conduct themselves with uh, avelus, they can conduct themselves to 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 minimize the the, the simcha that they have, not mamish avelus, but to minimize the simcha that they have. So they were geyser not to have this type of elaborate uh, celebration at, at a chasana. And he violated it, he didn't listen, he violated it, and he brought it to the chasana. He was bitten by the snake and he died. So that's why he was not able to have this refuah.